One of the biggest questions we need to ask ourselves is who am I? And you know, most people do not know who they are. And God wants us to know who we are. God wants us to walk in our identity. But the enemy comes in and he tries to knock us out by saying, you're a failure. You can't do anything right. You're hopeless. And we turn it into I statements. So we think we're saying that I'm no good. I can't do anything right. I'm hopeless. Nobody loves me. Nobody cares. But that isn't what God says. God wants us to see who we are. And if we are a child of God, we need to know that we're kings, that we're priests, that we're God's child, we're sons and daughters of the king. And I want to read to you two verses, Psalm 139, verse 13 and 14. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know them full well. And the prayer I want to pray for you today is a prayer to know who I am. And this is an important prayer because we need to know who we are and who we belong to. And I love these verses because God knit us together in our mother's womb and we are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are fearfully, you are wonderfully made and the devil will tell you otherwise. God's works in making you are wonderful. And I want to read to you another verse, Revelation 1, verse 5 and 6. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and has made us to be a kingdom and priests to serve his God and Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. And I say amen to that. And we are a kingdom of priests. I think that is a tremendous way to live. So let me pray for you now. A prayer to know who I am. Father, I want to thank you so much for my brothers and sisters. And Father, I pray that at this time of year that you will show them who they are, that they would know who I am in Christ, who I serve, who I belong to. When the devil relentlessly attacks their mind and says you're no good, you can't do anything right, Father, we cast off those lies because that's exactly what they are. The enemy is trying to strike at our identity and who we are in you. So, Father, I pray that my brothers and sisters will know how to battle against these lies of the enemy that come in when we wake up in the morning and during the day. Father, that they would cast them out in the name of Jesus because there's power in the name of Jesus. And instead, that they will dwell on your truth. In your word, they are fearfully and wonderfully made. All of Psalm 139 tells who they are in you. You know when they get up, when they lie down. You know their thoughts from afar. Father, you are with them. You are in them. You are guiding them. You are for them. You are their cheerleader. You are the one who stands by and helps them. You are the one who guides and leads them. You are the one who cares about them. They are kings and priests in the kingdom of God. Father, they have such a status of royalty, but the devil is trying to tell them otherwise. I pray that you help them and give them revelation about how you feel about them. Touch their heart with the reality of who they are in you, Lord. Remove the barriers of unbelief in their life. Father, I pray as they listen to worship music, that you would speak to their minds, that you would give them verses, that you would give them scripture, that you would show them who they are in you. We can believe your truth, and Lord, that truth makes us stable, makes us strong, makes us steadfast. And I pray this for my brother and sister that they would be strong, steadfast in you. Who I am in you makes all the difference in the world. So I pray you bless them now as they move forward, that they would have a new inner strength, 
that they would have a new stability, that they would have new grace to speak out the truth that's against the lies of the enemy. Father, I pray you bless them now. Encourage their hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. And I know that God wants you to know who you are in him. You can answer that question, a prayer for who I am, because you know who you are. You can stand as a king and as a priest in the kingdom of God. You can stand as a son and daughter of the king. You can stand as a mighty warrior of the king. You can stand as one who is dearly beloved, who God cares about all the time, who's watching out after you and for you, who's standing with you in times of hardship, who does not forget you when you think he's far away, he's near, he's right there beside you. May you move forward knowing who you are. And I pray this prayer, a prayer to know who I am, will help you all the days of your life. May the Lord bless you. Amen.